Right? The inhuman messages of Heinrich Himmler and his henchmen are still behind these tattoos and posters. The MMA community is outraged over Tom Aspinall's allegedly Nazi tattoos. This is the biggest scandal to rock the UFC in years, and it has the potential to impact the outcome of UFC 304. So, what is the real meaning behind Tom Aspinall's ink, and do his tattoos mark him as a Nazi? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Let's start out with the single most undeniably Nazi-influenced piece of body art that Tom Aspinall has, and that is the symbol on his right forearm. At first glance, it appears like some sort of rune, maybe a neo-pagan symbol, some type of Wiccan thing, and you would be correct to draw that conclusion because it is based on runes, but it is not New Age or a neo-pagan. If you actually reverse image search this specific symbol, it only has a few hits, two of which are associated with some new age neo-pagan spiritualist SoundCloud guy, and then the others are associated with a man named Rudolf Koch, who was a German typist and typeface designer. He designed type for printing machines, and he was a Nazi sympathizer, and an outspoken German ultra-nationalist to the point of xenophobia. He said he hated anything foreign and anything non-German, and he specifically designed his typefaces to reflect the German spirit. And then towards the end of his life in 1930, he published a book called The Book of Symbols that was a whole collection of proto-Germanic and like pre-Christian proto-symbols that he didn't provide too much explanation for, but the specific one on Tom Aspinall's arm, the first time it ever appears in any type of historical record is in Rudolf Koch's The Book of Symbols, and he suggests it is symbolic of a man-woman in union with two children, which it is, because he based the symbol for man off of the Proto-Germanic or Nordic rune, the older Thufark rune, meaning man, called the Alges rune, or what the German Nazi party called it, the Leben rune, if it looked like this, or the Totten rune, if it was inverted. So you cannot feign ignorance to the significance behind this symbol, and if he does, he should really start looking into what he gets tattooed onto his body. This is an undeniably Nazi-influenced symbol, and people like Rudolf Koch went on to influence the Nazi party directly, as well as their use of symbols in their military, like the Africa Corps. Which leads us to the second most damning tattoo on Tom Aspinall's body, which is the palm tree on his forearm. And this palm tree looks far too close to the Africa core palm tree and its various derivations to be coincidental, especially when combined with the skull rings that were issued to members of Africa core that show the palm tree with runic symbols. Am I reaching or does Tom Aspinall have undeniably Nazi influenced symbols in his tattoos and do you think Tom Aspinall needs to address this? Because I am not going to go so far as to say I think he is so-and-so or holds so-and-so political ideology, but the marks on his body are extremely concerning. You cannot deny the Nazi connections with the rune on his forearm, and the palm tree in connection with that is very damning. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. If you think Tom Aspinall needs to be held accountable or at least issue a statement about his tattoos, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new because I'm the only person finding out information like this. Turn the bell notification on so you don't miss a single video. I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members and a special thanks to my Lion Tier members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Leave me Bobby.
Dime, mami.